Alright, good morning. This is uh, Mitchell, and it is what, the 12th of February, Tuesday, and we are looking at Tiffany's stock chart here. It's a daily chart, and if you recall yesterday, we went long at 63.10 as it took out this tight little inside bar between the bands at a support level, right? So we went long at 63.10, initial stop loss at 62. 12, right? Only risking 98 cents on this trade, not a whole lot, okay? First profit target is up in here, which is equal to the what we're risking, 98 cents. So if you add 98 cents to 63.10, it puts you at, at 64.08. And our second objective is gonna be twice, twice that. It's 65.06, which is, uh, let's see, a bit higher than this even. So the second objective is 6506 up in here. So let's move that 6506 right here. That's our second objective, okay? So again, our stop is down here at 6212, risking 98 cents. Our first objective is just one to one ratio right up here, a little over 64, 6408. And market ran up yesterday to what 63.30, and today's high so far is 63.38. We're trading at 63.17 right now as we speak, and that's it for that. Let's look at the XOM. Let's look at Exxon Mobil. Uh, unfortunately, that trade was never executed. The market um, never took out the high. We were looking to go long at 89.01. The market just traded lower with the lower high and a lower low. I am no longer interested in this trade right at this moment, but I will alert you to this if if I get interested again. But again, I wanted that quick snap up. I wanted to break out through that high of that inside bar. We had two consecutive inside bars in a row after this huge bar right here, which actually was it's pretty much a reversal. I mean, look at market opened and closed in the top quarter of this range after making a big tail down here, right? After trading down in here, trading all the way down, it ended up reversing, closing up in here. Then we created that inside pattern and then another inside pattern right there. So I am actually watching this very closely. I wanna see what the market does today before looking to potentially enter, but I wanna see a little bit more confirmation. I mean, look at, we're sitting between the 50 exponential, right? We're sitting between the hot pink line, which is the 50 exponential, and the 200 exponential right here. 250, we're, we're trading right in between them. Okay, so let's just give this a little bit more room. All right, let me point out one other trade that I just got long momentarily. I was gonna point this out to you yesterday, but the market, it never really set up, and plus I don't wanna give you too much uh, uh, to confuse you here, but Look at this, market came down, this is Salesforce, this is CRM, daily stock, salesforce.com. Market's pulled down from this high. We're getting close to that 50 exponential moving average. We had an inside bar yesterday. Well, look at yesterday, never took out yesterday's high, right? The inside bar was never taken out yesterday. But this is what I liked this morning when I looked at this. The market actually came down, made a lower high and a lower low actually took out the low of the 7th. That low was 169.16. Yesterday's low took it out marginally to 169.09. Okay, 169.09. So I look at that as a retest of the 7th's low. So I'm thinking today, if the market is able to take out yesterday's high by 20 cents, because it's over 100 bucks, $150 stock, I like to see at least a 20 cent penetration through a high. So I went long at 171.45. Again, yesterday's high was 171.25, so 20 cents up from that is 171.45. I'm long at 171.45. My initial stop loss is below yesterday's low. Right, 20 cents below 169.09 is 168.89. So I'm risking $2.56 on this trade, okay? So look at, I'm almost up a full point on this as the market broke up through yesterday's high. So 20 cents up from 171.25 is 171.45, which also had to take out the prior day's high by one tick at 171.44. So it cleared both of them. We're long at 
up a buck three right now, which is not bad, okay? Again, we're risking 256 on the trade. First objective, you know, I'll automatically bring my stops to even. I will not risk one penny on this trade as long as we run up $2.56, right? Our first profit objective, we're looking for $2.56 on this trade. So if you add 256 up from the entry of 171.45, that puts us at 174.01. So let's put our lines in here. 174.01 is right there. First objective, right? At least break even. Stop loss, 169, 168.89, right here. And then our second objective, right, is twice that, which is 176.57, right, right up in here, 176.57. Look at that right there, first and second. Make sense? CRM, again, the trade set up because we tested this low here yesterday, right there. See, we tested it, took it out marginally, closed in the top third. And so again, I want the market to prove that it wants to go higher. So I need to see the market take out yesterday's high by at least 20 cents since it's a 170 some odd dollar stock. Okay, and so the buy came in here. Let me just put another line right there. As the market cleared the prior two days highs, that's where we went long. So we'll manage this trade accordingly, okay? Hope that helps. Again, you should have gotten an email today. If you haven't already, please uh, click uh, on the link that we, we send you an email today. It's a three-part video series with me, Doc Severson, and Dave Lucas. I think you'll enjoy it immensely. So be, be on the lookout for that email. Click on that link and, and watch the video. I believe it's about 65 minutes. I think you'll learn something. Well, I know you'll learn something from it. We're real excited. We're on camera quite a bit, so hopefully you like it. And have a great day and talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.